this. Um, hi, Bella. I'm going to talk now. You're going to yawn? Okay. Bella's awake now. Um, it's Tuesday. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I thought I'd make another video just to update. Um, you see my collar and you can still see. I don't know if you guys can see all the way, but there's a puff in there. Um, we're going to take that off when Jackie gets back. Um, we should have taken it off last night, but I was really, really out of it. Um, yeah. Uh, I've been trying to lower the dose of medication that I'm on. I'm, I'm on a lot of pain stuff. and I'm just not really happy with the way the dose makes me feel. Um, I'm on Dilaudid, and I'm on 4 milligrams. Well, I can take one or two, so 4 to 8 milligrams. As often as every 4 hours um, when I have pain. But the problem with post-operative pain is that if it gets ahead of you, you're fucked. <laughs> There's no easy way to say it, but when you're fucked, um, you have to stay on top of the pain. And if you get to the point where you're feeling it, you're going to get behind and you're going to have to play catch up with the pain. And it sucks. And um, last night, for some reason, I wanted to try to get over off the Dilaudid and onto the morphine. And I tried to do that last night, and it didn't work very well, and, um, I, I don't, I don't even, can't even remember, because I was so out of it, I had to explain it, but anyway, I got to the point where I wasn't taking even enough morphine, and when I tried to take enough morphine, I was behind the pain, so I was chasing it, and it wasn't doing shit, so I woke up this morning, and I took a full dose of the Dilaudid again. It seems like it's all that's working, and it's really frustrating because it's the kind of pain medication that just knocks you out and makes you kind of worthless to the whole world. Um, so my concern, I guess, is trying to figure out when am I actually going to be okay to drop down um, instead of two Dilaudid, I guess I'm going to stay on now, to one. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to figure that out, but I definitely still need two, and I definitely still need them every four to six hours. You can't, I can't even push it down to eight right now. Um, the shoulder is in a lot of pain. Um, the doctor actually suggested that I, I'm sorry, table's wobbly. I'm sure that's not fun for you guys. Um, the doctor actually suggested that I only wear a sling for my personal comfort, um, which I thought was really great because the last time I was in a sling and an abduction and I couldn't move and it felt it actually was more painful because I just, I, it wasn't, it was getting locked and my elbow would start hurting and my wrist and I mean, having your arm hanging in one position all day and isn't always the best. Now I do wear the sling, um, I, the couple times we've gone out in the car, I will wear it. Um, if I'm going to be around a lot of people, I will wear it to keep them away from touching me or running into me. Um, yeah, I had issues before where... People just run into you and they don't realize it hurts like hell. Uh, like Jackie's dad who beat me in the back of the shoulder when I had the sling on trying to hug me. Way to go, asshole. Way to go. Um, so that, I'll wear it then, but basically it's up to me when to wear it, which is really nice because um, I'm, since I'm so out of it and spending a lot of time in bed, as long as I keep it down by my side or I hold it up like this when I sleep, it really doesn't hurt a lot. And that way it's getting some movement. And it won't be shell-shocked when we start doing PT, which I think is next week. Um, I think I have an appointment tomorrow, and then I see the dentist on Thursday, so kind of a busy week. And then Saturday we're having uh, the first flight banquet, which is kind of just amusing, because they had one weekend off uh, after Worlds, which we went to. And now they're all getting together on Saturday, because there's about 24 people that don't know what the fuck to do with themselves alone. Well, maybe like more than that, but there's 24 marching people who just don't know what the fuck to do with themselves. So it's kind of cute that they need to get back together and have a cookout, which I'm fine with. They're cool people, and it's fun to hang out with them. Um, so we're doing that um, Saturday. Um, no major plans other than that. Jackie's working a lot during the day. Uh, and uh, next week she has auditions four days a week. 
I have post-op on Wednesday next week, and then Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be going with her to, to auditions to help her judge the auditions. To be a big, mean person, that's what I do. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, not a whole lot else. Um, lots of little plans popping up here and there, trying to figure out kind of what's going on right now with us. Um... I probably will start back on treatment tomorrow. My continuous treatment, three days on, four off. We'll probably do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and kind of start getting going on that, pushing it again. Um, we're going to probably access my port today. So I'll be able to do fluids as I'm dosing, which is probably going to be helpful. Um, we got back my blood work and my potassium was low, as well as my vitamin D. So I'm on added two supplements now for that um, probably still mal I was malnourished hopefully the potassium should help with some of that um, I don't really know what else uh, I guess I'll be starting weekly PT next week um, we'll see how that goes they think that because we didn't have to do uh, any major repair to the joint which still blows my mind um, but because it was a bursitis and a cartilage and all that kind of repair that I may be able to get up and move it a little earlier so I'm kind of hoping we can because uh, I'm kind of ready to jump right into to doing stuff with this thing I'm moving too much right now though so I'm definitely making an attempt to chill um, I have spent a good amount of time outside lately which has been really nice and I've been trying to keep up some kind of level of activity, I guess. We may or may not go see a play tonight at the regional theater. Um, depends on how we're both feeling. Uh, I know Jackie said, said she's really tired when she woke up this morning. And I was up all night in pain, so I'm not screaming. With excitement to go out. Somebody just yawned. Um, so there's that. We'll see if we go. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep up with the vlogs. I, I've been, I've done okay. I've actually vlogged twice since we've been home. The blog got kind of neglected during the winter months of depression hell. Um, I appreciate all of you who actually watch all of these. Um, your comments are always very amusing. So I'm glad you stick through it and you put up with me because I'm not gonna edit. I'm just, I'm not. And I'm not gonna be apologetic for it either. You get what you get, you know, you get what you would get if you sat down and you talked to me about shit, and you can ask questions, you know, that's what the comment thing's for. Uh, anyway, so I, I'm hanging e in there and trying to take it easy the best I can, which isn't very good, I'm really bad at that, and uh, hopefully things will keep progressing. Um, this was supposed to be one of the shorter videos, but you can tell that the Delata has made me really, really talkative and kind of out of it, retarded, not useful as a person. Anyway, so I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves, and um, I'll talk to you soon.